calling the Jetsons. Jetsons. Ah, it's a phone. I'll get it. Morning, George, dear. Ah, morning, Gloria. This animation was the futuristic fantasy for all ages alike, almost a half a century ago. Today, we're living in that fantasy with advanced technology like the creators of the Jetsons, Joseph Barbera and William Hanna, dreamed. Video chatting programs like Skype, FaceTime, and Microsoft Link are changing the way we see the world. To us, and to countless others, it gives the opportunity to reconnect face to face with family across the world. Ah, uh, dear, uh, it's, it's okay. How are you going to recover your pain down there? Yeah. Neko terapy završ dish. Dobro izgledate. She said you you look really good. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, you have a great day, and uh, we'll go out a little bit tonight. Since the dawn of civilization, people have been scribbling down messages, thoughts, and ideas on any material available. More recently, over the past couple hundred years, we've been able to communicate around the world in a much shorter time with inventions such as the telegraph, telephone, and postal organizations, thanks to modern inventions like the steamboat and airplane. Then came email, revolutionizing the way we communicate. Now, using the power of science, technology, engineering, and math, communication has changed again through the many uses of video chat. My father came to the U.S. in 1995 as a refugee from the Bosnian War, and most of his family are all still living in Bosnia. Phones are great for connecting, to an extent. It's one thing to hear their voice, but another to see the faces of our loved ones. And that's what my father especially missed when he first came here. For my brother and I, it's hard to go for a year without seeing our grandparents, who are advanced in years. Sure, we can call them, but they treasure seeing our faces. In addition to our Bosnian family, we use Skype to connect with countless other relatives and friends in Florida, North Carolina, Great Britain, and Germany. Video chatting isn't only used for long-distance love. Many businesses utilize this technology as well. Rodata is a corporation located in Pittsburgh, founded by John Rodella, whose business is entirely dependent on the technology of video conferencing. Hi, I'm John Rodella. I'm the CEO of Rodata. Rodata builds digital classrooms and conference rooms for industry and the school market. We have built rooms all over the country and we've delivered systems all over the world. Unlike many of the popular consumer video chatting tools, like Skype, Rodata takes it a step further by building video conferencing rooms for businesses. We build uh, uh, right around 100 rooms a year. While it helps many businesses obtain increased revenue, video conferencing also aids organizations with a different goal in mind. Infinite Family is a nonprofit organization that provides mentors for children in South Africa from homes all over the world. Teens in South Africa are befriended and mentored by a caring adult once a week via video conference. This opportunity is a lifeline for these children to help them see that the world is a big place and they can make a difference. My name is Ilya Morales and I am the video mentor application and training coordinator for Infinite Family. And our organization uh, was started when our CEO, Amy Stokes, went to South Africa. She adopted a child there. And as she was there, she realized that the HIV and AIDS epidemic had created a um, very unique situation in that there were a lot of kids that were all friends. She decided that the best thing would be maybe to set up a, a program where um, we can connect 
adult from the rest of the world or anywhere in the world with the children in South Africa. So towards the end of this year, our goal is to get to um, about 400 mentors and equity connected. The great majority of our mentors are from the US um, and Canada, but we also have mentors in Brazil, Australia, uh, France, the United Kingdom, Romania, Germany, and South Korea and South Africa. So we have mentors from about 10 different countries right now. Using the power of STEM, means of communication have drastically changed from smoke in the air to seeing the person on a computer screen. Maybe soon, we'll view someone through a holograph. Who knows? Whatever the case, the future of communication has begun with video chat, allowing us to connect, collaborate, and counsel face to face.